Hello and welcome to the final part of Let's Play Sonic CD. If there's something wrong with my voice, it's just because I uh, haven't quite recovered from a laughing fit I had not too long ago. I won't say what I was laughing at. That's, uh, that's my own personal business. But anyway, I'm not gonna let Eggman cheese me out again. I'm gonna get to the end, and I'm gonna beat his stupid fan robot, and I'm, I'm... Well, I'm not gonna fail at it, but I'm not necessarily gonna go on it unscathed, because, you know, it's not entirely difficult to go through this boss unscathed. The stupid fan boss. I don't understand. Why is the final boss a fan? But if you want to go through it unhit, it's entirely far too boring. You really just have to wait until he goes through this whole set of patterns, avoid all of his attacks, and then hit him when he's open. But it takes so long for him to be open at the right time in the right place that half the time I can't be bothered to not take the hit just to get it over with. I don't know what happened there. I'm usually able to hit him when he opens himself up right there, but for some reason I ended up hitting one of the blades instead. <coughs> Excuse me. Just gotta get this stupid thing over with. Because this is the most tedious, stupid, retarded final boss Sonic ever has to fight against as far as I'm concerned. If you don't, you know, just cheese it and bother to take the hit and then hit him first. I'd say the second worst would have to be probably the penultimate boss from Sonic Advance 1 and damn it, you're defeated! Hey, me! Oh fuck, we gotta get out of here! Run! Run! Columns. Oh boy. And jump! And somehow that jump manages to get him off the planet itself. <laughs> Got some strong legs there, Sonic. But, um, yeah. This is the end of the game. Here's the ending cutscene for the good future. Oh, excuse me. I don't know where that came from. Maybe I shouldn't be doing my commentary right now. Of course, the thing that really confused me when I first played this game is that when I saw the ending cutscenes, I was like, wait, is there another Sonic cartoon out there that I haven't seen? Because this looks like a real good-looking Sonic cartoon that I would like to watch. But no! It's just the first game in a Sonic... It's just... Yeah, these cutscenes were made specifically for this game. I don't quite understand why. It was my first introduction to such a concept, and... You know, for it being the first time I see it, it's also... makes me sad that it may be one of the only times I see it, because one thing I like about video games is when they can integrate some anime cutscenes into them. I don't care what you think, Clement. I like the anime fucking cutscenes. I know you think they kind of interrupt the gameplay in order to show them off, but to me it seems like a reward for playing the game as long as you do to see these cutscenes. Because these cutscenes are always better than having a cutscene using the in-game graphics. And it 
requires more fucking effort. Get duh. But whatever. On the other hand, I do kind of feel like the animation used in this game is slightly better in certain capacities than the animation that was used in the Sonic the Hedgehog Japanese whatever movie. I say certain qualities, not quite all of them. I know in general the shading was probably better, but I feel like the animations themselves uh, were far superior in this game. But yeah, um, thank you for playing. Ah, you are the greatest player. Uh, I don't know how to change those three A's into something resembling initials. I'm not entirely certain. I did it once, and I can never remember how to do it again. But yeah, um... <coughs> I suppose now is as good a time as any other to explain where I'm going from here. Okay, you know, these past two games that I've done Let's Plays of are like firsts in certain ways. Like, um, Mega Man X6 was the first Mega Man game I ever played. Earthworm Jim was the first platform game I ever played. And this was the first Sonic game I ever played. See the pattern yet? I'm doing a lot of firsts here. And that seems to be the way I'm going from now on. Because the next game I'm going to be playing, I think, will either be the first 3D Sonic game I ever played, or the first handheld Sonic game I ever played. I haven't quite decided yet, but I'm only doing firsts. I'm not doing games in any specific order either. I'll do it when I feel like it, if I think about it, and, um, yeah. And the reason I've decided Sonic is because Sonic games are the only do things I can do LPs of right now. But anyway, uh, that was Sonic CD. I'll see you next time. <laughs>